Hello, I am Carol Chris, Chancellor of the University of California, Berkeley. Although we cannot be together in person today, I feel connected to all members of the Asia Society in spirit and in purpose. The Asia Society is dedicated to promoting mutual understanding and strengthening partnerships across people, leaders, and institutions of Asia and the United States in a global context. From the arts and culture to business and across education and public policy networks, members of the society provide insight, generate ideas, and promote collaboration to address present challenges and create a shared future. What you do has also been part of the University of California's public mission and our way of engaging with the world for 150 years. The university's founders connected our location and our future to Asia. When California had just achieved statehood, Henry Durant wrote this, many nations a few years hence, as their fleets with the wealth of commerce seek these golden shores, will see the university before they see the metropolis of San Francisco. In fact, the very first philanthropic gift that our university received was a professorship of Asian languages and literature, who imagined greatly expanded Pacific commerce and said that he felt deeply the humiliation of seeing Asian students go to the East Coast in search of that intellectual hospitality that we in California are not yet enlightened enough to extend to them. If they only could see Berkeley and all of California today with Asian culture and heritage woven deeply into the fabric of our communities, how we've used to our advantage this landmark position that connects us to all people around the Pacific Rim. Every discipline at Berkeley is strengthened by fine man, minds from diverse backgrounds and nationalities, from legendary faculty like Y.T. Lee to the thousands of students and postdocs at Berkeley today, creating, learning, and teaching in every field of study imaginable. We have whole organizations dedicated to studies of Asian society and culture, such as the East Asian Studies Library and the East Institutes for East Asian and South Asian Studies and have collaborative partnerships like the Xinhua Berkeley Shenzhen Institute that grants dual degrees between our universities and is at the forefront of research in data science, environment, and new energy, and precision medicine and healthcare. Across the spectrum, our scholarship is deeply intertwined with leading minds in Asia. In the last five years alone, UC Berkeley faculty members have co-authored at least 12,136 papers with researchers at 1,686 universities and other institutions in Asia. One of these outstanding people is being recognized today, Su Jay King Liu, Dean of UC Berkeley Engineering. Su Jay, you have distinguished yourself throughout your research and teaching career, recruited leading scholars to join us, empowered your colleagues to succeed, connected Berkeley Engineering to the world, and provided strategic leadership at Berkeley and to important companies like Intel at the forefront of computer hardware technology and scientific computing. Your contributions to the field of integrated circus technology have helped enable the continual miniaturization of transistors up over the past several decades, a development that has in turn allowed the electronics industry to create cheaper and more efficient laptops, cell phones, and other devices. And your work to strengthen Berkeley and the College of Engineering by increasing access to our academic programs for people from underrepresented backgrounds is important to the long-term health of our university and to our society. I know I join all members of the Asia Society in congratulating Dean Liu and her fellow award recipients today. Thank you. Wow, that was an artfully crafted montage and narrative of my life leading to this celebratory moment. Thank you so much for the tremendous honor. I am truly humbled to receive this prominent recognition by the Asia Society because my achievements are not my own. Every person who has supported, encouraged, collaborated, or advocated for me deserves credit for the essential role that they played in my life. These include Chancellor Carol Christ, 
who so kindly and graciously introduced me. She is an extraordinary leader for UC Berkeley, which is known for challenging the status quo to effect positive change. Thank you, Carol, for your strong support and for your compassionate and game-changing leadership. I also would not be here without being nominated by Mr. Chuck Ng, who's president of Asia Society Global Young Leaders Silicon Valley and president of the Berkeley Chinese Alumni International Association. He is an amazing leader who is helping to support and increase awareness of the many contributions of Asians to society and to foster good relations and collaboration between the US and China. Thank you so much, Chuck, for nominating me. As you might have guessed from the photos of me in my youth, I am very blessed to have parents who gave me many opportunities to learn and grow. Thanks very much, mom and dad, for providing me with a loving and supportive environment at home and at church and for setting high expectations for me. This Asia Society Game Changer West Award is better than a Nobel Prize, don't you think? I've also been blessed to have a very supportive partner in life. My husband David and I first met when we were teenagers. We reconnected as graduate students at Stanford University where he inspired me to pursue the PhD. Thank you, David, for your enduring love despite my many flaws and for your support, encouragement and advice through the years. You've sacrificed much for me and for our sons and you always will be my game changer. There are many other people who have helped to shape me and pave my career path. These include my PhD advisor, Professor Krishna Saraswat, Dr. Ann Chang, who recruited me to work at Xerox Park, my mentor and colleague, Professor Chen Ming Hu, who recruited me to the faculty at UC Berkeley, and Professor Shankar Sastri, who as Dean of Engineering gave me the opportunity to hone my leadership skills as Associate Dean and then as Department Chair. It is remarkable and not a coincidence, I think, that all of these inspirational people in my life are Asian Americans who each have made impactful contributions to society themselves. The Asia Society's mission is especially important today as we are seeing increasing incidents of unprovoked violence in the US spurred by hate for Asians and Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Celebrating the impactful achievements of Asians and Asian Americans is a wonderful way to raise awareness of our contributions that have benefited society to affirm that we have worth and that we belong here. We also need to work together to overcome hate, I think, with love. If we are more proactive as individuals and as a community to show care and concern for others, they will be less likely to misunderstand, resent, or fear us. A kind word or offer to help can dispel negative stereotypes. This philosophy is relevant to my work as Dean of the top school of engineering in the country, top public school of engineering in the country. I am aiming to transform the culture of engineering so that each of our students shows genuine care and concern for others. This way, we will be able to ensure that they become effective leaders when they are innovating new technologies, devices, and systems in order to shape a brighter future for all members of our diverse society. In closing, I would like to express appreciation to all my family, friends, and colleagues who are watching for their support and to express deepest appreciation and gratitude to the Asia Society for honoring me with this award. And I'd also like to extend warm congratulations to my fellow awardees this evening. Thank you all. <laughs>